My name is Harley Vaughn, and the leadership quality that I will be presenting to you today is communication. The purpose of this presentation is to present to you why it is important for a leader to be able to communicate effectively. A quote that I like regarding communication is told by Paul J. Meyer, and it reads as such, communication, the human connection, is the key to personal and career success. Now, a question that I want you to think about while you listen to the rest of this presentation today is, are you a leader who can communicate the message that you want your audience to hear? According to the 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader, written by John C. Maxwell, communication is being able to share knowledge and transmit a sense of urgency and enthusiasm to others, while also being able to get a message across clearly and motivating others to act on it. A great example of this quality is told best by John C. Maxwell when he says educators take something simple and make it complicated, while communicators take something complicated and make it simple. Having this quality as a leader is critical because people will not follow you if they do not know what you want or where you are headed. Also, communication in your personal life is just as important as communication in a business setting. Being able to communicate with your spouse, employees, and friends is very important in your everyday life. The success of your marriage, job, and personal relationships relies heavily on this quality. If you strive to be a more effective communicator, then there are four truths that will help you greatly. The first one is simplify your message. It's not about what you say. It's about how you say it. The key to communication is simplicity. Be clear in your message. The second is see the person. This translates to learn and get to know your audience as it is impossible to communicate with an audience without knowing them first. Third, show the truth. This just means be credible. You must believe in what you say and live what you say. In the book, it illustrates that there is no greater credibility than conviction and action. Now the fourth is seek a response. The goal when communicating is to get others to act on your words. So give them something to feel, something to remember you by, and something to do. And if you break down all four of these truths, there are really three major steps to improve your communication ability. The first one is be clear as a bell. The second is refocus your attention. This means focus your attention on the material and your audience and their needs and desires. And third, live your message. I strive to be an effective communicator both in my professional and personal life on a daily basis. A professional example of me being an effective communicator is how I must communicate effectively and coordinate with all my coworkers at the farm that I work at this summer. Seeing as I work on a farm, things can go south in a hurry if you cannot communicate effectively. Things can go from good to bad in just about 10 seconds, maybe less. A personal example is that my two sisters can be two rather moody individuals. Trust me, some people can relate if they have sisters. And for me to talk to them, in, talk to them and do certain chores with them, I'm going to have to be an effective communicator. Also, a second example of a personal uh, situation is I'm currently in a class where you have to have a leadership quality and you have to communicate effectively the quality in which you were chosen. Ring a bell? In conclusion, to be an effective communicator in your professional and personal everyday lives, you must do several things. One, simplify your message and be as clear as you can be. Two, get to know your audience and realize their needs and desires. Three, be credible or a good quote I think that relates to this is, if you're going to talk the talk, then you got to walk the walk. Four, strive to create a reaction from your audience. And lastly, I'm going to leave you with a quote that I think is a very good quote when you think about leadership and communication. It is, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. And this is why communication is so valuable. Thank you.